It's time to make a high power t shirt launcher. You should be able to get everything you need at your local home improvement store or plumbing supply store. We won't be going into depth at each step to build this, but a complete list of parts and more detailed build instructions are available at kipk.com. We'll be solvent welding all the PVC together using some purple primer and some blue heavy-duty PVC cement. The procedure will remain the same throughout, and that's adding primer to the PVC parts and then adding the blue PVC cement and pushing the pieces together and making a quarter turn, and if you need to, bang it with a rubber mallet. There will be some threaded connectors, and for those, we'll be using some plumber's tape, which will wrap around a few times on the threads, and then thread into the part. You may need to use a couple of wrenches to make sure everything's nice and tight. One of the parts is a three-quarter inch ball valve. Now, this will be used to connect the power chamber to the reserve chamber. We also need to install a pressure gauge in the power chamber so we can keep track of the PSI we'll be pumping into this baby. I'll be using some liquid nails adhesive on the threads of our pressure gauge just to make sure there's no leaks. That will be threaded into the PVC and then I'm going to use an adapter on the inside just to make sure this pressure gauge doesn't blow off. This is what the power chamber and reserve chambers will look like when they're connected by the ball valve. The triggering mechanism for the t-shirt launcher will be a sprinkler valve, and those will use threaded connections that we will put on both ends. And then that finished assembly attaches to the power chamber. Don't forget to pay attention to the airflow direction on the sprinkler valve. The back end of the reserve chamber will consist of a bunch of adapters to get it down into size, so we have a small piece of clear plastic hose and a tire valve, and that's what we'll use to pump air into the reserve chamber. The finished t-shirt launcher should look like this, with the final step being the power for our sprinkler valve. Two 9-volt batteries and a switch. So here we go. Using a bicycle pump, I'm going to start pumping air into the reserve chamber and get it up to about 70 PSI. The t-shirt launcher is done. Now all we need is our ammo, and that's going to be a t-shirt. I'm going to use this I Play With Lasers t-shirt. Oh, and if you want one of these, there's a link in the description of the video. The t-shirt will be folded up, rolled, and held together with a couple of rubber bands, and then put into the barrel. And now, let's test it out. Nice. About 100 feet. Now the ball valve is opened up to let air from the reserve chamber fill the power chamber, and close back up. This thing really packs a punch, so you never want to point it at any living thing. Oh. oh man, I gotta call my State Farm agent. Hi, it's Kip K. Uh, I sort of blew up my car. Yeah, no, not this time. Today it was a t-shirt launcher. Yeah, that's right, a t-shirt launcher. You're on it? Amazing. Please use with extreme care. Oh, and since this can launch more than just t-shirts, Tell us in the comments what you'd launch with it. And that's how to build a high-power t-shirt launcher. For more great videos, click the box on the left. And to see more explosions and loud things, click the box on the right. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.